Hi, I'm Scott Moore, sales consultant here at Mount Comfort RV. I'm gonna take a minute or two to talk to you about the 2016 Torque 396 that we just got in. This is a really neat floor plan with a lot of great options. I'm gonna start right here on this back side just to kind of give you an overview. Water connections are back here. You've got the outside shower back here, cable and satellite prepped, extra plugs, your sure cord, holding tank plugs are here, access to the pass-through storage. Awesome because they do the rubber flooring here, easy to clean, easy to use, but Heartland goes ahead and finishes this area off. So things that are down in here will stay down in there. They're not gonna be rattling around as you travel. High gloss fiberglass on the exterior with the nice front cap. You can see the torque emblem on the front. It's a real nice fit and finish. LED lights. As we look up underneath, docking light here. Spot for the generator. This does have the fuel station on board. So while the generator is prepped, it's got a start, start switch on the inside. It's got the fuel station already in it. Easy to add a generator if you need it. Battery packs here. And then again, our fit and finish on our fiberglass as we come through. There you can see the storage area again. Hot water heater bypass. There's pumping warm air into this area. We have hookups for televisions here if you want to have a TV out here on this side. And we have nice slam latch doors. We've got the uh, powered awning. Hit the button, run it out, hit the button, and run it back in. The other neat thing that Heartland does is instead of the little plastic chicken beaks, they use magnets. So look how easy that is. No things to break, nothing to, to come off. Three-step entry. Obviously opposite room slide. Notice where they put the speakers. Most manufacturers have got them way up here. Up high. If you want to listen to the radio, you're sitting down here. So you have to turn it up louder so my neighbor's five campsites away hear your radio more than you do. Here, Heartland's putting it down here. I'm sitting down here. I could have it on later in the evening and keep it down and still be able to listen to it. This is a tri-axle and you'll see we have the upgrade and the tires, the really nice rims um, that they use to fit and finish this. Again, a three-step into the second door here into the back. As you wrap around the back side, we do have the, uh, the ramp door. And then you'll notice we have the, uh, the, uh, um, the awning above the ramp door. And that's because this comes with the patio room. Has the sides that open up. There's LED lights underneath here that shine and light up this area when this is all down and you've got your patio all set up. I'll tell you what, it's a neat one on the outside, but it's even neater on the inside. Come on in and take a look. Here we are coming in to the inside of the 2016 396 Torque. Just as you come in the door, what a great area for jackets, coats, boots. This is a deep closet with a hanging bar. So again, very usable, very residential. Come in, kick your dirty stuff off, hang up jackets. Extra spot here goes all the way back. Very, very deep, deep cabinet. And then of course, it's hard to miss. <laughs> you know, you've got this Jensen television, you've got your awning buttons, your slide room buttons, your radio, your DVD, you can check your tanks, everything in one location. And as we talked about outside, we've got the built-in gen start. So you can start and stop the generator from the inside, again, if you want the generator added. Lots of extra storage, top and bottom, and this is going to be our, um, our uh, fuses and breakers, and again, hidden away from little hands and little people out of sight, out of mind. As we come around this side, obviously you see the deep slides and the theater seating. <laughs> yeah, you got four seats that are recliners with cup holders and storage spots. These are as nice as you will find in theater systems in people's homes. And it's a great place for them because of where they set that television. They also have spots here for tables that can come all the way across. So there's plenty of seating, plenty of room for tables, countertops for everybody. Then you'll see here into the kitchen, our opposite side. Lots of countertop space, excellent storage. You've got your refrigerator, you've got extra pantries on the each side. But I'll tell you what, one of the big ones here, nice little closet for, for all your stuff. There's some excellent storage here. 
rows of drawers. Not just one, not just two, not just three, but seven drawers up underneath here with plugs, with plugs. The one thing you hear more than anything, there's not enough plugs in my kitchen area or countertop space. And in this toy hauler, no problems there. Pull out sprayer and the double bowl sink. It's a 70-30. Oven, cooktop, and microwave. So we do have all three. Nice little cubby and a floor space. Big space, you know what that's great for? Cast iron, bigger pots and pans because that stuff actually sits on the floor and is not having to put that extra weight on the bottom of any kind of drawers. I tell you what, while we're here, let's scroll up into the bedroom area. As you go up the hallway to the right hand side, we're gonna find our bathroom. And I think the one thing you'll notice right away is the different cabinetry. The bathroom is a different color. It's done lighter, it's brighter, it's trimmed in the dark with the dark countertops. Again, the idea here is to be very residential, like you would at home. We would have a different color bathroom. Big shower with the garden tub, all done in stainless steel, excellent fit and finish. And the, I call the master suite because we do have a door that comes in and out of the bedroom. Instead of having to go out in the hallway where everybody can see you and then into the bathroom, you come right in and out. Excellent storage underneath the bed and great storage above. But here's where a lot of it comes. Deep cabinets, drawers, all the way down the hallway extra countertop space. As we work our way to the back, the kids will love this. Great little place up here that can call their own. It's a loft area. There's hookups for televisions up there. You can have privacy. Yeah, well, the kids love it, but you know what? It works great for adults too. Stepping on and back into the garage area, a couple of things you'll notice back here. Washer and dryer hookups back here in the back, so it's not taking up spot in my bedroom. Behind door number one is the, is the bath. And again, not a half bath. Stool, toilet, and shower. This has two full baths, not a bath and a half. And again, they do the same thing. Our woodwork here is done in the white and black trim like we saw in the, um, in the full bath up top. So again, another big feature is two full bathrooms. We've got great storage here on either side. We've got hookups here for another television if you want. And then obviously you can see here, I've got the two uh, drop down one, bed and booth, and the others are strictly a sleeper. These will obviously come all the way down and fold out and go up against the ceiling so that they get out of your way to bring whatever you would want to bring into this area. Table fits in between. And then you can see on my ramp door, we do have the patio version. So outside is an awning, on the insides have all the railings. So it makes a great outside area. And it does have the pull down screen along the back to keep this a bug free area. And again, we see our second door, which is uh, a great way to come in and out with muddy boots, uh, wet, dirty. You're not trekking it through the, the house part. You're bringing it right in here to the garage. Well guys, I've taken a minute or two to show you around the 2016 uh, Heartland Torque. This is the 396. I'm Scott Moore here at Mount Comfort RV. If you have questions or need any help, please ask. I'll be glad to help you. You need service, you need parts, you need accessories. Mount Comfort has you covered.